General Hospital Recap Wednesday, January 24 Laura receives secret information from Heather about her daughter. Esma renders Kevin unconscious. Hello everyone General Hospital fans, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe our channel for more update. Wednesday's episode of General Hospital saw Molly Lansing Davis bringing organic groceries to Christina Corinthos Davis Place and persistently hovering until Christina agreed to take an early at-home pregnancy test. After a few minutes of waiting, Christina discovered that the test was positive and shared the news with Molly, who excitedly embraced her sister. Meanwhile, at the Savoy, Trina Robinson spent some quality time with Curtis Ashford, Portia Robinson, Ava Jerome, and others before her upcoming trip to Paris with Spencer Cassidine. Before leaving, Spencer was questioned by Marshall Ashford and Stella Henry, but Trina quickly whisked him away. Although Portia assured Stella that she was allowing Trina to make her own decisions, she secretly believed it would be best for Trina to go to Paris alone. Spencer privately expressed his gratitude to Portia for including him in the farewell gathering, but Portia brushed it off as solely Curtis doing. After assuring Portia that Trina's happiness was his priority, Spencer's troubled past made Portia apprehensive about any trouble that might follow him and impact Trina's life. As Kevin Collins and Laura Collins were late for the party, Spencer grew worried that his recent actions might be the cause. Eventually, Spencer decided to come clean to Trina and Jocelyn Jacks, admitting that he willingly handed over Ace Cassidine to Nicholas Cassidine, but he insisted it was because Esma had regained her memories. Though unable to provide concrete evidence of Esma's recollection of her horrible crimes, he shared his suspicions and concerns with them. Trina expressed her wish for Spencer to have been truthful from the beginning, but she was genuinely alarmed about the possibility of Esma spiraling out of control once again. Fully aware that they had only one chance to get Esma convicted in court, Spencer understood the importance of proving that she had indeed regained her memories. Jocelyn reassured Spencer and Trina that she would obtain the necessary evidence and convince them to return from Paris for Esma's trial. Taking precautions, Spencer warned Jocelyn to remain cautious as he believed Esme was planning something sinister. After the gathering for a celebratory toast in honor of Spencer and Trina's departure, a kiss was shared between them. In Alexis Davis' office, Esme rummaged through the items and stumbled upon a credit card belonging to the invader. With her laptop at hand, Esme prepared to utilize the card to book a flight and escape the town. Unbeknownst to Esma, Kevin appeared abruptly, catching her off guard. He seemed clueless about her intentions, and Esma quickly fabricated an excuse, stating that she was immersing herself in work to avoid constant worry about her son. Although Kevin questioned why Esma hadn't gone to the authorities when Nicholas initially took Ace, she maintained a facade of self-reliance in this situation. Kevin reassured Esma that he would do everything in his power, along with Laura, to support her. He suggested that they use Alexis's office to have a private conversation. However, the situation took an unexpected turn when Kevin turned the conversation into a therapy session, urging Esme to accept help and consider making a change in her life. Esme claimed that she was willing to change, but her actions spoke otherwise as she sneakily approached Kevin from behind and knocked him unconscious with a heavy piece of art from the room. Despite her attack, Esme insisted that she saw through Kevin's pity and redirected his concern towards Spencer and Trina. Meanwhile, at Pentonville, Heather Weber caught Laura's attention and revealed that she had valuable information concerning their shared grandson. Heather, surprised, questioned Laura about how she knew about Nicholas taking Ace. Laura learned that Esme had visited Heather and that Heather had regained her memories. Knowing that Esme was unwilling to run away, Heather wanted her daughter to be in Pentonville so she could keep a watchful eye on her. Heather pleaded desperately for assistance, emphasizing the urgency due to Esme's vengeful intentions, particularly towards Trina and Spencer. Considering the potential consequences for Esme, 
Heather urged Laura to intervene before she could commit something dreadful. At Maxi Jones residence, Cody Bell arrived bearing new riding boots for James West, as the ones Nina Corinthos had given him for Christmas turned out to be slightly small. James eagerly tried on the new boots but found them too large. Cody assured him that he would contact the person he obtained them from to arrange an exchange, so he stepped outside with Damien Spinelli following him. Spinelli accused Cody of trying to impress Maxi with expensive gifts, but Cody clarified that he saw Maxi as family and believed Spinelli might be feeling jealous. While Cody offered romantic advice if Spinelli wanted to win Maxi back, Spinelli declined the assistance. In Wednesday's episode of General Hospital, James offered to sell his boots in exchange for money to help with the bills. However, Maxi revealed that the boots were a gift from Cody, meant for James to enjoy. Maxi later felt guilty about James being concerned about their financial situation, but Felicia Scorpio believed that James inherited his generous nature from his mother. Cody agreed to stay and play a game with James, but Spinelli remained suspicious of him. However, Felicia privately told Spinelli that she was mistaken about Cody and encouraged him to give Cody a chance. According to General Hospital spoilers, Spinelli and Maxie's rekindled love story will face some unexpected challenges in the near future. Stay tuned for updates on all the drama happening in General Hospital. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.